Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the foundations of entrepreneurship. Quick evaluation of ideas. Imagine the situation you have an idea. For example, online education in the internet. Is this also a good idea? Is this something you'd start a business on? Well, first of all, we have many ideas. And now we want to know whether these are good ideas or not. And what do entrepreneurs do in order to differentiate those two? Actually, there are many ideas around. So entrepreneurs, serial entrepreneurs, but also uh, those who want to start a business, they make a very short evaluation in order to get a better feeling for the idea. And how does this short evaluation look like? Let's first of all take the example of a bicycle helmet. If you had the idea for a bicycle helmet and you want to do this short evaluation, you basically ask yourself three questions. The first question is, is there a problem? Taking the example of the bicycle helmet, well, if you crash with your bicycle, the most valuable thing you want to protect is your head. So there is a problem, there's a need to protect the, your head um, with something, and the best thing to do that is a helmet. The second question is, is there a customer? The answer to that? Well, yes, there are all those people who drive their bicycles. Um, not only those who race with the bicycles, but average people who want to protect their heads. And the third question, the third question is, is there a willingness to pay? Maybe this is not so easy to estimate in, in the first place, but um, in some way, if you look at what you can lose by not wearing a helmet and uh, how much a helmet might be, 50 euros, 30 euros, even 100 euros, um, there's probably a willingness to pay. So the answer for all those questions is yes. Unfortunately, there is this problem. Fortunately for you, because you can start then thinking more about this idea or this good idea, and the second answer is yes, and the third is yes. Taking online education uh, in the internet, is there a problem? Well, people want to know more things. People want to learn, people want to get an education. Politicians talk about the education basically every day. So there is a need for education. Yes, there is a problem. Is there a customer? Well, yes, all those people who are going to, to universities, for example. All those people who might not go to university at the moment because university is too far or too expensive or too whatever. Is there a willingness to pay? Well, I don't know. If you look in the internet, you can see that basically content is for free. So is this also content which is basically then for free? or people at least think that should be for free, there might not be a willingness to pay. And this is the way to try to identify good ideas, to differentiate ideas from good ideas by answering or by asking these three questions and answering them. And actually entrepreneurs, especially serial entrepreneurs, so entrepreneurs who have done that more than once, are very, very quick in asking these questions and answering them for themselves in order to know whether they should think a little more about these good ideas then. When, when you answer these three questions, you can, you can also do it in a, in a slightly different way, as Jeffrey Timmons uh, says in his book, New Venture Creation. So he talks about supply side, demand side, and pricing. And basically, this is the three questions we had before. So is there an unsolved problem or specific customer need? Are you able to identify that or are you unfocused? And unfocus is with the lowest potential. Identify uh, need or identified problem is the highest potential. Is there a demand by the customer? So can you reach the customer or is the customer loyal to others? So maybe there are already solutions for helmets out there and you can never get into this market. Or maybe universities, there are universities that are so cool that people always want to go there and don't care about online education. Maybe there's no demand for online education then. And the third point, 
It's their willingness to pay, as we said before. Is this willingness high or at least high enough or low? This is basically the same questions in, in a slightly different way um, as you can find them in Jeffrey Timmons' book on new venture creation. So if you have done that, uh, identifying the need of a market, you can serve a need. And this is basically one of the two or the first of the two origins of new ideas. Either you serve a need or you might be able to create a need. If you serve a need, you answer to a pain of a customer. You answer to his biggest frustration. Maybe people already had a bicycle crash and, and um, they had a severe head damage. They will definitely buy a helmet, these people. Um, you can see it, people skiing with helmets too, and that, that was just a development over the recent years. Online education may be the same thing. People want to learn, but um, they are not able because universities are so far away or so expensive. So you answer to a frustration. Um, the other way and the other origin of ideas is you create a need. People don't really know about a need. They know, don't really know about the gain they can get. So you try to understand what does cus customers truly want or need to achieve. And maybe online education is also an example for that. Maybe there's people who do not feel the need for education so far, but if it's reachable more easily, maybe they also educate themselves. Honestly, most of the ideas entrepreneurs go, I think, at least 90 to 99 percent will be serving a need, looking at a pain and uh, serving that need. However, 1 to 10 percent might be creating a need. This is a lot more difficult because you have to change customers' behavior, you have to um, have the vision, you have to find out what the customer truly wants. And not every entrepreneur is on the one hand able to do that, and on the other hand, not every customer understands that so easily that you can stand the time to have enough customers to make your company profitable. So this is a way to differentiate an idea from a good idea. And if you then have a good idea, it's worth rethinking that a lot more.